What's cracking guys, Omar Esau here. In this video today, we're talking about building muscle. Building some damn muscle. And we're talking about the pump. You know what I'm talking about, the pump. Arnold knew it. I mean, besides being a great actor. He is Sub-Zero, now Plane Zero. And I mean a great actor. You're a funny guy, Sully, I like you. That's why I'm going to kill you last. He also knew a hell of a lot about training. He's the oak after all, the greatest bodybuilder of all time. A lot of what he used to say still stands the test of time. He was a huge advocate of the pump. The greatest feeling you can get in a gym or the most satisfying feeling you can get in a gym is the pump. And I mean a huge advocate. It's as satisfying to me as uh, coming is. They're having sex with a woman and coming. Okay, maybe a little too huge of an advocate, but the point remains, a lot of old school bodybuilders really emphasized the pump because they felt the muscle, they felt that swollenness, they felt uh, the muscle increasing in size as they trained. They thought it was very important for building muscle. Now, does it hold up? First, let's explain what the pump is. The pump you usually get when you're doing multiple sets with slightly less or, or lower uh, rest interval, moderate to high reps with moderate weight. So let's say you're really focusing on a muscle getting that contraction and you're doing a lot of volume in a relatively short period of time. Well, here's the science. Here's what's going on when you feel that pump, your muscle increasing in size. You got your veins that are trying to take away blood from that particular muscle. And what happens due to those muscular contractions you do in the reps, it becomes a little compressed. And then you got the arteries. The arteries are trying to supply fresh blood. And what happens, the net effect of all this is that your muscles become engorged with blood. And that's where the swelling, they call it in science, cell swelling occurs. And so you feel that extra swollenness, that pump. That's what the pump is. Now, some naysayers will say this pump you get is just purely cosmetic, right? You get it on that day for like 30 minutes, then we all know as bros, you leave the gym and you're left with nothing. Your muscle shrinks back down to size. So it really does nothing. Well, there's actually science to back up. The pump can be great for building muscle. Studies have demonstrated that a hydrated cell leads to greater protein synthesis while reducing protein degradation. As we know, when it comes to building muscle, it's about protein balance. If you're synthesizing more protein than you're breaking down, you will build more muscle. So it's implied by the research that getting a pump, that cell swelling, can definitely be conducive for building muscle. And it's theoretical at this point how it actually occurs, but essentially what they feel is kind of like a water balloon, let's say. That as you inflate it, the cell membrane, it expands and your body perceives this as a threat and it thinks to itself, wow, the integrity of the cell structure is a threat because it's getting this pump. We need to reinforce it, that's probably how the hypertrophy actually occurs. So, the pump isn't just something that old school bodybuilders were advocating, it's something you should actually implement into your training. I think a lot of bros actually get it wrong. They'll do a few sets at the end of their workout and they're not really focusing on the contraction. As you know, I think the foundation for trying to build muscle is heavy compound movements, progressive overload. But that's where doing some pump style work is great as accessory work for you to do in addition to that compound work. Why? Well, because you're using relatively light loads, uh, you're doing high volume in a short period of time, so it's time uh, effective. It also isn't going to stress out your nervous system. Most people get it wrong, however. They don't focus on the contraction. What you want to do is select exercises where you feel that muscular contraction. So select the proper bicep movement, tricep movement. If you're doing chest, why do you think I got the ass chest? I discovered early on the chest movements that work best for me. The low to high cable fly where I felt that muscular contraction. Then what you want to do is keep the tension on that muscle. Do higher reps, at least 10 to 12. You could do maybe 15, upwards of 20 reps. Go to the point where it feels uncomfortable. That swelling, where you feel that swollenness, the pump where it gets uncomfortable, you feel that lactate building up, you want to fight past that. Because you're using a light weight, feel free to approach failure. So, do pump style training on legging areas, doing a couple sets at the end of your workout and really focusing on it. I feel a lot of people that think, oh, I gotta get a pump, they kind of, they don't focus on it, they swing the weights up. Really focus on contracting the muscle and reaching a point where it gets uncomfortable doing the reps. You feel that swelling occurring and you kind of want to stop, you have to go beyond that. And don't be a big baby, we know it's uncomfortable. You feel that pump, you want to stop, but men Metabolic stress is a very real mechanism for hypertrophy, so make sure when you're getting a pump, focus on the contraction and do a lot of reps in that uncomfortable zone. A lot of old school bodybuilders figured out the hard way through tons of practice, a lot of years, how to do it right, and it's great to see the science backing it up. So, the next time you're getting a little bicep pump going on and another bro is looking at you like, what, the pump? Don't you know that's stupid? Say, yeah, motherfucker, I'm getting a pump, I'm getting swole. 
You got a problem with that? That's all the time we have, guys, for this video. Post below your favorite Arnold film. I'm going to start. I got a couple. Got to go with Conan, Terminator 2, and Total Recall. If you like the video, make sure to like the damn video, and I'll see all you guys, my rascals, in the next one. Peace.